Hey guys, Daniel the Adjuster here, just for another quick tip on Xactimate. I know you guys have been wondering a little bit about how to draw roofs in Xactimate, so I wanted to quickly go over uh, a simple roof design so that you guys can become experts at drawing roofs in Xactimate. So let's get right to it. So over in Xactimate, here is a photo of, of a roof that I did, not a photo, but a drawing of a roof, and you're like, how in the world am I going to draw this? This is pretty common where I'm gonna see roof systems like this added on. So let's let's start and I'll show you how to do it. So come over here to a blank page. I'm gonna move this out of the way because that's showing kind of a level below. Go into the roof tab over here and the first thing you're gonna choose is this pull down menu and that's for hip. See how it changes to this little drawing? Well then you just drag it over to where you uh, have the roof system, you know, blank slate. Click and drag and voila, let go. And there you go, you've got this roof that, and I've got some pink there because I got some uh, stuff underneath here. So let's move that out of the way so we get rid of the pink. And voila. So what I would do in this scenario is I would have measured this outside distance from corner to corner. Uh, you could either, if it was a three tab, you could count uh, shingle tabs or you could actually have come down to this ridge and, and measured. And I'm sorry, I've got a, <laughs> a weed eater outside uh, going here. So yeah, let's say it's 50, 50 feet. So I click on this little box and that's gonna highlight that. I just click on it and I type in 50, enter, and immediately that changes to 50 feet. So the same thing goes for this front and back. Maybe I have uh, a 40 foot uh, at this point, making it really simple for us. Or a simple thing too is also to measure that ridge. One thing you want to check first before you do any type of measurements is to come in here and change your pitch. Your pitch is down here, roof, slope, rise. Uh, let's go ahead and say all of them were an eight pitch. Okay, and then uh, that change that and it's done. Okay, so if you want to go into 3D, click this little box down there and you can scroll and there's your 3D pitch. Very cool. Go back to this one, takes us back to the, to the to overhead view. Now, to get this little wing out here down at the bottom, hit the brake tool, come down here, hit the control button and drag, and then, I don't know, for some reason it changed. Now, one of the things that uh, happens is whatever this roof is, when I go to pull out, it's gonna draw the same roof. So I can simply click on the roof, go up into the properties menu, sorry, properties menu, change it from a hip to a gable, and simply it's going to make that go away uh, down here. Same thing, hit the brake button, click on the line of where I want it to measure to, hold the control button, pull out, it's going to again default to a hip, quickly change it to uh, a gable again, and there you go. So the only thing I would have to adjust then is if I had gotten some measurements here, the back and forth measurements, so I'm going to, you know, the, the length of this gable measurement, I'll pull that down. The other one I would measure would be, you know, this side, and the other distance would be how far it comes out of the house. And now you can just grab that one and move it to there. So pretty simple. There you go. That's that hip, uh, simple hip roof with two gable extensions. We see these roofs all the time. So guys, a little quick tip there from Xactimate to help you guys build those roofs to be a better adjuster. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.